What is going on everybody? Thanks again for stopping by at the channel. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it when you take time out of your busy day to, to watch these videos. It's really cool. So it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. I'm actually in my destroyed studio right now. Me and the wife, we actually make the Duramax Life decals here in the in my little studio. Um, actually, I'll leave the link in the description below. It, you guys see, every time I post a video, you'll see like a picture of someone's truck with the decal in the back. If you guys decide that you want to do that, just go ahead and leave a picture or DM me a picture on my Instagram. It's going to be truck underscore master 07. And then I'll just throw that really quickly in the beginning of one of my videos. And keep them coming. If you guys already ordered one of those decals, just send a picture to me. I'll put it right in the beginning of my video for you really quick. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is going to be a kit that I got from Mark Decola Diesel Performance. Uh, he's a but actually a good buddy of mine. He actually has some pretty cool products on his website. It's a Duramax oil filter adapter and you can actually install this cat oil filter. It's a big giant thing. Now the benefits of doing this with Duramax, guys, I'm really getting heavily into maintenance and whatnot on, on the Duramaxes. You guys are going to save a ton of money, especially if you're doing it by yourself or you know saving money doing your own oil changes. Spend the time and just do your own oil change. Save yourself some money. It is expensive to do oil changes. Maintenance work on your Duramax, even if you don't have a Duramax, a Cummins, a diesel, whatever, it's expensive to keep these things maintained. So why not do it yourself? You know what I mean? So um, some big benefits, and I do have some notes here I want to read to you so I don't misspeak here. Now with this kit right here, uh, you can't just install this to your normal oil filter housing, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so make sure you stay tuned. But the reason why I would be installing this is because, um, of course, longer filter oil life, which would be giving you, um, I'd say, less intervals on oil changes, but that's really totally up to you. 10% uh, more oil capacity, which means that you're going to be adding an extra quart of oil. Now, if it may be synthetic or just regular diesel oil, 15W40, it's really your call. This also gives you two times over filtration. It has a nylon center tube to prevent metal contamination. The OEM is aluminum. That's pretty cool. So it makes sense. It's gonna. It's a great option. It's better than the last option that I had. I had all them tubes and everything. The oil filtration kit that I had, it was ridiculous. It, it was tubes and I had to drill and tap my oil pan. It was just a mess. This is a way better option than what I had. And that's why I'm going with it, guys. Not only that, these are a lot cheaper than your normal standard oil filters. So guys, I want you guys to stay tuned. This is gonna be a great video. Today, the Blue Biscuit gets an oil change. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. This is the kit, this is what it consists of. The nipple extractor, the actual adapter, and then, of course, your big giant oil filter. Now, this cat oil filter right here, and it says it right here in the instruction, guys, is that you will now add a quart, an extra quart of engine oil, which means that Instead of 10 quarts, you will now be going to 11 quarts. Makes a lot of sense though, right? So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Are we gonna add the MDDP decal to the back of Blue Biscuit? All right, we're gonna rep that out. I think that's a pretty cool decal anyways. Blue Biscuit, she uh, survives her life on the dirt road, so. <laughs> uh, loosen the drain plug here. Get all that nasty oil out of here. Um, you know, take your oil filter off, guys. I guess this is a good opportunity for some of you guys that are new to the diesel community or the new to the Duramaxes that are that have one now. You guys can see how to do an oil change since yeah. we're already at it. Yeah. yeah. Is there a special oil that you use for your Duramax, or you just go straight for the normal Dexos, or? What um. You? So for my my LOI, uh, LOI guys, um, I'm sure you guys have seen it on the channel. If not. If you guys are first time stop runners, um, me and Truckmaster have the exact same truck. Except mine's an extended cab and his is a crew cab. Um, but that one I actually run Schaefer's 1540 in. Um, just because that one I'm at about 600 horse. I've had a lot of my friends have good luck with that oil. Around that uh, horsepower range, uh, Blue Biscuit here, all she gets is some, uh, just, just some 1540. We we actually use, uh, what is it, Luber Gold or, I don't know, what's that right here? Synthetic blend, 
1540 heavy duty diesel oil lubricard. It's made by, it's a Valvoline oil, so. Good, it's good co stuff. It's coastal, I'm sorry. Coastal. Yeah, it's good stuff though, it's synthetic yeah. oil. Yeah, so I just run, you know, cheap, frequent oil changes, guys. We're doing this at a 3,000 mile interval. And it's a work truck. It's a work truck, she gets work. Yeah. So some people, you know, they do theirs at 10,000, 5,000. Um, personally, my LOI gets a 5,000 uh, mile interval change. Blue biscuits getting three thousand, so <laughs> up, you know, kind of up to you guys. Yep. Yeah, with synthetic, uh, you know, it really just depends. I, if it's really what you want to go with, but six thousand miles is the recommended. Uh, interval changes on synthetic now if you're just going the normal stuff like he said you can go 3,000 really or really how hard you want to work your truck I know some guys running that Amsoil filtration kit they're doing intervals 10,000 to 15,000 or you know even more than that oh easily cool kind of bottoms out you can have three floats in but if you keep twisting it you guys will see this is on a cam lock rotation here this removal tool so it actually as it rolls it gets bigger and that's what bites into the side of the uh, nipple to remove it so as we rotate it inside this filter housing here that's actually what's going to grab onto the nipple to remove it this, the the tool the tool itself is actually a 14 millimeter the nipple is a 15 16 it to bite again so you can feel it now it's got a good bite we're just gonna apply slow and steady pressure nothing too hard don't use an impact on this guys just a hand ratchet um, and you can see I'm just slowly turning it out it's after it broke loose it's coming pretty easy okay now that we extracted that we're gonna install the new fitting um, as you guys can see yep is it'll, it'll actually make it'll, right to it. Yeah, because this part's going to go inside the oil filter housing and then it's going to screw on just like that. But we'll show you how to install it. Um, proper torque specs says right here in the instructions using a 515 socket, tighten it down and torque to 20 foot pounds of torque. So we're going to bust out the torque wrench here in a minute and torque this down after we get it installed. The smaller end is going to go into the filter housing right here. So we're just going to take this down and uh, tighten her up until it bottoms out and then we're going to get a torque wrench, we're going to throw it at 20 foot pounds, now we're just going to screw it on here, holy smokes that is a huge filter. That's where the drive shaft is. <laughs> Got a little clearance. Luckily, it's you know doesn't go up and down like an independent or a straight axle front end. It's you know, and then guys, my oil filters, I just hand tighten, just snug them up. It's all I need. I don't need to you know, don't need to torque them down. Just a good hand tight. Call it a day. And then install your drain plug. video was helpful uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys enjoyed the content um, again Logan thanks again man for uh, allowing me to do videos on the LV7 Duramax formerly known as Blue Biscuit I know that gets annoying but I love the name so. uh, big shout out to Mark Decole over at Mark Decole Deuce Performance for sending us a kit um, but that's all the time that I have for today you guys take care I'll see you on the next video see you guys later